If you know me, you know my backstory with this game. The first episode is what happened to this Web3 game? Blanco's Block Party Edition. So if you don't know, because they pulled the PC version, Blanco's Block Party was actually one of the first, if not the first Web3 games that hit the Epic Game Store for free as of last year, but the game has been around in pre-beta and alpha for about four or five years. It's a quote-unquote casual game that's run by Mythical Games and CEO John Linden, whose other famed product is NFL Rivals. But before we dive deeper, we have to take a little bit of a journey back. About two and a half years ago, a young Paizan, fresh off his first crypto game, Decentraland, finds one of the first ever Web3 gaming experiences that he's blown away by, and it just so happens to be Blanco's Block Party. Today, I am back with a brand new NFT game, play to earn called Blanco's Block Party. Yes, I'm talking in the third person, just go with the narration. This young Paisan loved the game, grinded it for months, even hosted his own tournaments, created his own giveaways, did what he had to do to make sure that the game would succeed because he loved it so much. But as the days and months went on, I started to figure out there were some holes in this game that I loved so much. One of the issues was constant updates, but constant bugs. Every time one thing was finished and updated, something else got absolutely ruined, broken, or destroyed. Another issue that they had was they completely left their competitive scene behind. Now, any good game has a quality competitive scene behind it, especially when there's competition in the game. They had shooters, they had races, they had free-for-alls. That needs a competitive scene. And every time there was a question asked about that, they completely said, we do not want this game to be competitive. It will be a casual game. To put it into perspective, they had a game type when I came into the game called Brawl Mode. It was kind of like a Fall Guys mode where the last person that survives all three to four rounds wins the main prize. It was great, it gave people the opportunity to compete and show off their skills, and the person who truly deserved the rewards won. Now a lot of their community was very casual-based and not skill-based at all, so they were complaining and complaining and complaining because nobody was getting the amount of rewards that they thought they should be getting after completing the games. So what they did instead was they went back to this party bus hyper casual mode where all you had to do was hit play, fit in the lobby, don't even have to do anything and you get rewards. How is that fun? I digress, that was just another issue that ran into the game that's shown proven to be detrimental to the game because now they have officially pulled the PC version of the game to focus on a mobile build. But before we get into this mobile build, we must talk about another reason why the PC version got pulled. And I know a huge reason of that was because players could actually go into the game files only certain players knew this. I am not one of them. I never done this, full disclosure. You could actually go into the game files and see which Blanco was going to be gem minted for the following week, which this allowed players to go in, buy the Blancos for really cheap, grind them like crazy, level them up, and then sell them on the marketplace the day the gem mint happened. So there was 100% a little bit of insider trading going on and insider trading information knowledge, causing people to get a little bit of disdain for the project. And lastly, they finally decided to go from Mythos Marketplace 1.0 to Mythos Marketplace 2.0, and then change their terms of service so that people couldn't have multiple accounts, which is completely fair, but in their terms of service one, it never stated that you couldn't do that, which resulted in a lot of people's wallets when transferring over to TOS 2, getting banned by Mythical with no response. Blanco's actually had one of the worst Discord ticket answering systems known to Web3 man, with either extremely delayed responses or nothing substant of the sort. So with that being said, where is Blanco's block party now? What are they doing now? We talked a little bit, we talked about the mobile build, and yes, that's where they're going, and I understand why. To grow a game in Web3, it's extremely hard to do it on a PC. A lot of successful games right now are strictly mobile. At the end of the day, Blanco's Block Party was not generating enough money to keep that build up on PC, so I know that they're moving it to mobile because John Linden has seen the success of NFL Rivals and online TikTok and YouTube marketing that it's done for the game, and they've proven to have great numbers. So where is Blanco's now? Where is this Web3 game now? PC build is out, mobile version's in, soon to be released. Soon? We don't know when, but it might happen soon. I would urge a strong path of caution 
when dealing with mythical games. That's just my personal opinion because I've been in the trenches with them for so long. That is what happened to this Web 3 game. This is the first episode. Let me know which game I should do next, whether it's a rug pull, whether you haven't heard from them in a while. We will do a deep dive and we will figure it out for you. Hit that follow button. Peace.